So in this talk, I would like to present to you why and how I plan and perform an angle bioassay. So the bioassay means the bony increase offset reverse shoulder arthroplasty has been uh, proposed in 2006, and it consists to harvest the bone graft from the humerus and to uh, place it on the glenoid side of the shoulder uh, to provide a bony lateralization. And uh, uh, since 2010, we have changed Instead of using a, a, a symmetrical bone graft, we use an asymmetrical bone graft, which has been called the angle bioRSA, and I would like to explain to you why. Why we are using a bioRSA? Very simply, it has been shown, and we have shown, that by lateralizing the glenoid with such a bone graft, you really increase the motion in the vertical plan, which means you have more active elevation, you have more AB deduction, by lateralizing the sphere and the base plate together. But it's also true in the horizontal plan. If you have no lateralization, if you have medialization of the sphere, you have posterior impingement, inferior impingement, I'm sorry. Un pop, pop, pop. Bon, alors là, c'est ça merde. Comment je fais Je recommence tout Je peux reprendre ici Non, je vais refaire, je faire tout, non Ouais. Okay. So in this talk, I would like to explain to you why and how I plan a, and perform an angle bioRSA. Bioassay means bony increase offset reverse shoulder arthroplasty, and I proposed this operation in 2006, which consists to harvest a bone graft from the humerus, a pure cancerous bone graft, a disc of bone graft that I placed on the glenoid side under the base plate in order to lateralize the sphere of the, uh, of the reverse prosthesis. And early in, the, in my experience, I was using a symmetrical uh, disc of bone graft, and later on in 2010, I changed for a, an angle by RSA with an asymmetrical bone graft, and I want to explain to you why. So first question, why using a bio -RSA? For a very simple reason, by lateralizing the sphere and the base plate in reverse prosthesis, what you are doing is that you are improving, increasing the range of motion in the vertical plan, which means you are increasing active forward elevation and AB deduction. You delay the inferior impingement and you have less scapular notching. But it's true also in the horizontal plan, you are delaying the uh, posterior impingement and the anterior impingement, which both are limiting external and internal rotation. So you see that when you lateralize the base plate and the sphere in the reverse prosthesis, what you are doing is that you are gaining some internal and some external rotation. Now the question is, why now an angle by RSA? Very simply, what I found is that there were two kinds of inclination angle of the glenoid. There was a total shoulder arthroplasty uh, inclination angle, which means, as you can see, this angle, uh, taking into account the uh, uh, line of the floor of the supraspinatus fossa, together with the glenoid surface, this is uh, about 10 degrees of uh, inclination. But I found that in the reverse prosthesis, since I was using, we are using only the lower part of the glenoid surface, the angle of inclination is different. Actually, it's increased. And it's about 20 degrees of inclination that we have to correct in reverse shoulder arthroplasty if we want to be orthogonal to the supraspinatus fossa, if we want to be orthogonal to the scapula. And in fact, you have many options. The first option is to do nothing, and your sphere will look upward, which is not good at all, because this leads to decreased motion and to a uh, high risk of uh, scapular notching. Now, you can put your sphere and base plate orthogonal to the supraspinatus fossa line, which means you have to rim uh, the glenoid surface, and you have to metallize your sphere, which is not good either. You can use a superior metallic augmented base plate to compensate for this inclination, which is pretty good. But what is even better is to use an angle by RSA with a bone graft, because this, in this case, not only you will correct the inclination of the glenoid surface, of the inferior portion of the glenoid surface, but you will also uh, lateralize your sphere and your base plate. In addition, 
with an angle by RSA, you can compensate for the inclination, but also for, uh, for the retroversion if needed. Now, how to perform an angle by RSA? It's very simple. All you have to do is to do first asymmetrical rimming, which will allow you to correct about 10 degrees of inferior tilt. And by adding this uh, asymmetrical bone graft, which is about 10 to 15 degrees, you can correct overall about 20 to 25 degrees of uh, uh, inclinations, which means you are putting your base plate and sphere orthogonal to the supraspinosus fossa line and you are lateralizing your base plate and your sphere. And for that, we use a specific instrumentation which allow us to, to very simply harvest the bone graft with this uh, uh, angle uh, that you see here. Another thing that you should know is that you must combine the right base plate with the right sphere, which means if you use a, a, small, base a small sphere, 36 mm in diameter, you should use a small base plate, 25 mm uh, in width, uh, this will provide you 5.5 mm of inferior offset. If you use a 42 mm sphere in a male patient, you can use a 29 mm base plate, uh, and this will provide to you 6.5 mm of inferior hovering. But what you should remember is that you should have always more than 5 mm of distalization of your sphere if you want to avoid having scapular notching, inferior scapular notching. Now, the angle by RSA, is it really better? That's the question we would like to answer. And I just show you what we have done here. We have planned a reverse prosthesis in a very simple cuff tear arthritis, nothing special. You see, the glenoid does not seem so superiorly inclined. So first option, you just rim in fairly and you metalize your sphere and you look for the motion that you get. It's not very good because you have impeachment inferiorly, superiorly, anteriorly, posteriorly, everywhere. Second option, you correct the inclination by using a small graft or using a, a metallic augment. And you can see just from vision that the motion is already better. Now, the third option is using an angle by RSA. And as you can see, this allows you not only to correct the inclination, but to lateralize the base plate and the sphere. Now, if you compare the motion of the, between the three options, you can see that for AD deduction, you gain from 12, 2 degrees to 22 to 34 degrees. You go for AB a deduction for 83 degrees to 94 to 100 degrees. Flexion is increased. Extension is uh, uh, also increased. External rotation, internal rotation. All the uh, motion uh, parameters of motions are improved with the angle by RSA. Why? Because the cup is turning at the level of the equator of the sphere in the horizontal plan. And in the vertical plan, you're using all the meridian of the sphere. And you can see in this patient that the motion is almost normal, even in internal rotation. So these are my take-home message. Angle by RSA provides you versatility to correct inclination and retroversion. Uh, it allows you to have at least 5 millimeters of lateralization, 5 mm of inferior overhang, a neutral retroversion, and a neutral inclination, which means an, a reversal angle at 0 degrees. In this patient, I just show you that I did the two operations, anatomical prosthesis on the left side, reverse prosthesis with an angle by RSA on the right-hand side in the same session. And this patient has the same motion in active forward elevation, in external rotation, and in internal rotation. So you see that even the patient cannot know uh, what, which shoulder she has the anatomic and which shoulder she has the reverse prosthesis. Thank you for your attention.